uh, Vladimir from um, IB Materials. And you know, we always talk about my colleagues being five years away and 10 years away. And now we are talking to a company that's going, you know, developing something that is really disruptive and changes how everything is made in this industry. So it's always a pleasure to talk to you, Vladimir, and you can start. Thank you. Good morning from uh, sunny New Mexico. Um, thank you for the organ to the organizers for the opportunity to present here. And um, <clears throat> we have, uh, as Ron already indicated, a materials breakthrough for making very large area sheets of gallium nitride based LEDs. Uh, not only is this technology transformational in how LEDs are manufactured, going from small wafers to very large scale, but also it enables super bright, paper thin, flexible displays. So here's a brief outline of my talk. First, a few words about our company. Then uh, I'll discuss our technology that we call GAN on X or GAN OX. Um, and then I will discuss the implications for LED manufacturing and in particular, utilizing roll-to-roll -roll processes to actually make LED sheets. And lastly, I will discuss how this new approach could be applied to displays. So first about I IB Materials, um, we are currently based in Santa Fe, New Mexico. We spun out of Los Alamos National Laboratory, and that's the reason for our location here in New Mexico. Um, we are the leaders in ion beam crystal alignment technology, with the original focus of this technology being high temperature superconductors, or HTS. Um, that's where this technology was implemented first, and we still work in this area as well. So we have kind of two areas that we work in. One is the superconductors, and another one is semiconductors. Um, we've had about seven and a half million in government funding to date, uh, government and commercial, and a, uh, a seed investment from Samsung as well. Uh, we were part of an ARPA-E, Department of Energy uh, program, um, to, to work on the GAN uh, material. And then further, we worked with Samsung and other in the industrial collaborators, uh, uh, collaborations uh, on the GAN material. The, um, the GAN work that we did uh, as part of the ARPA-E program was in collaboration with Sandia and University of New Mexico and Los Alamos National Laboratory. So it's kind of an all New Mexico team that was involved. Um, so uh, we have a experienced individuals in both film deposition technology and opto semiconductor materials. So my particular experience is not in uh, gallium nitride and LEDs, but uh, it is I'm the the uh, expert in the ion beam crystal alignment process, uh, and that's the core of our technology. So. Um, as we all probably know, making micro LED displays is still rather challenging. There are basically two approaches for this. One is to do um, monolithic integration, and another one is to do mass transfer. And in part, it depends on the scale of the display. For small displays, such as micro displays, less than an inch in size, one can take pieces of an LED wafer, which... Um, is rather expensive today. And then since the LEDs are, uh, wafers are typically six to eight inches in size, and then integrate monolithically LEDs by coupling them to a backplane. Um, and as I said, because of the limitations in size and cost, larger displays, uh, for larger displays, one typically resorts to transferring uh, pre-singulated chips from a wafer and assembling then you know, millions of these on a display backplane. And some of the other talks in this uh, showcase uh, discuss these approaches. Uh, this is rather challenging since one requires seven nines yields in the end with tens of millions of tiny chips that need to be positioned within a micron or so accuracy and then bonded reliably so that all of them work properly. 
So the question is, 